I'm Joe, and this is my wife, Courtney Ann, and we are the Out-of-Town Browns. Good morning from Tokyo. Today we're taking you on the bullet train because we're going to Kyoto. We're going to be taking the Shinkansen from Tokyo Station to Kyoto Station, and then from there going to Urishiyama to see the monkeys and to do lots of other fun things. So we wanted to show you guys how to use the bullet trains and our experience using the bullet trains. As you know, Japan is really famous for these trains, um, so we can't wait to use them. But first, we have to get to the train station and with all of our stuff. So, off we go. When you buy the Japanese rail pass, all you have to do is show your rail passes to the people at this gate here and they'll guide you through. You do not have to use the ticket machines when you're taking a JR line. Change to English. I need to make sure it's the right one. Yeah. Platform 14103. Okay. Please be careful when you put your luggage. There is a freaking urinal on the bullet train. station from our bullet train. We took the Hikari Shinkansen from Tokyo to Kyoto. It took two hours and 44 minutes on the dot. Um, and now we're going to get some lunch, find some lockers. To store. And now we're going to get some lunch, find some lockers to store our luggage so that we can go to Arashiyama and see the monkeys. And let's go. I'm hungry. Okay, so what we're doing, since we're already at the train station, is we're actually going to put our luggage into lockers and take the train directly from here to Urashiyama to keep going with our day. If we were to go all the way to our Ryokan, drop off our stuff, walk back to the train station, and then get going, it would just eat up too much of our time. So we're going to find the luggage lockers, we're going to switch all of our stuff around so we've got our gear in our backpacks, and then we're going to get back on the train to go to our next stop, Urashiyama. Large. Please select the action you wish to perform. It's your Why you like that? So, yet again, 7 Eleven to the rescue. We're about to get ready to go on our uh, monkey park trip. And also, what's the name of that hike that we're going on? What hike? What? Then a beautiful girl arrives. I'm happy now because I had my food. Hangry. Hangry lap. So I got two things. I got this omelet and with like fried rice and it. it's like tomato sauce, like ketchup with Sock with rice and then an egg on top, and then I also got just a chicken and rice, um, like little rice triangle. Got my chicken roll? Yes, ma'am.
We just arrived at the entrance of the monkey park. We have about a 20 minute walk up the mountain to get to where the monkeys actually live. They just gave us the cutest little ticket with these instructions. Do not stare the monkeys in the eye. Do not touch the monkeys. Do not feed them. Do not take a picture on the way. Please keep a distance of more than three meters with monkeys. Safety first, they will get ya. Not gonna go up that way now? Nope. That wasp? Look how big that wasp is. Yeah. We don't have those in the west and that's an east wasp. That's, a, that's, that's an east wasp. one of the people here and he ran away with it into the trees so follow the warning signs oh there he is there he is Something really cool about this monkey park is that it was founded in the 1950s and these monkeys are not in cages. Like they're totally free, they live their lives, they run all over the mountain, run all over the place. The reason why they stay here is because of course like they're fed here, but they are not in captivity at all. They're totally free monkeys. People that work here know everything about them, which is so cool. You get like right next to them. Like there's nothing blocking you from them. They cross right in front of you. It's really immersive and interactive. You obviously should not be touching them. <laughs> so you can't touch them, but they get really close and it's such a cool experience. So if you're in Arashiyama, come to the monkey park. It's only 550 yen per person, which is roughly, you know, $5 or so um, American dollars. So definitely worth a trip. It's a little bit of a hike. You get your workout in, but you get to get so close to the cutest little monkeys. <laughs> the way down is obviously a lot easier. <laughs> We're not so sweaty. Headed down next, we are gonna go to the bamboo forest. The bamboo forest should be about a 30 minute walk from the monkey park, so not too bad. We'll keep getting our steps in today, so we'll see y'all when we get there. We're making our way through the bamboo forest one last time on our way back to the station. Courtney Ann wants to find a Japanese fan. It's real hot. And tomorrow, it's probably gonna be even hotter. There's also so much to do in this area. Like, we only did two of the things that there are to do here, but there is a lot to do. You could spend an entire day in Hiroshima. Unfortunately, we don't have the time today, but you could make a whole day of it if you're in Kyoto, for sure. Yeah. So we made it, we're in Kyoto, we have our luggage, we climbed a lot of stairs, and 
now we have service and hopefully directions to the right Ryocon for us to get there. Ryocon! This is I've never be... stayed in one before. I'm not sure if that's even how you say it, you guys, but you know we can't say anything. Um, it's going to be a traditional Japanese Ryokan where we're going to sleep on like a tatami, mat, futon situation. Um, I can't wait. I'm, I'm just curious. This is going to be interesting. And Kyoto is beautiful. Really we is. got here right at golden hour. I mean, the sun is setting. The birds are chirping. It is like... Are those the birds? A, those are the birds. There's a siren. It's beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Off we go. Western style hotel in Tokyo. We are blown away by how beautiful it is here. So. I can't wait to stay here. Why'd you flip it over? I definitely looks like ginger. How does one eat a potato? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. We just finished at our Tapanaki restaurant. This restaurant was recommended to us by the hotel. I will double check the name when we get back. Um, it is written um, in Japanese characters, so I can't read that, but it was absolutely delicious. Joe and I got so much food. We got six chicken skewers, a mushroom skewer, two rice cakes, a bacon, two bacon and cheese rice cakes, um, a potato, three like servings of sake, all for 32 US dollars. Seriously, what a deal. If you're in Kyoto and you want some late night food, this place is open till midnight, it's delicious. Highly recommend. It's the sake dance. Thank you guys so much for traveling with us to Arishiyama today. It was a great day, we're exhausted. You know you had a good day traveling when you're like, ready to fall asleep when your head hits the pillow. <laughs> yes. And so we're really excited to explore our new little uh, Ryokan and figure out how to uh, sleep on futons. We're gonna make our futon and snuggle and fall asleep. So thank you for watching today, you guys. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel before you go. And yeah, that's it. We're tired and jet lagged and had a great day. We'll see you guys in the next video for more Kyoto coming up. Love y'all. Wait, wait, the doll that loves for me.
Bye, honey. gotta do it okay we just finished Wait, what's it called i don't know what it's called Tepanaki. it's it's, it's this we'll see you guys in a second no you're always, you're always thinking about the vlog you're forgetting about it <laughs>